Oh my god, hi, what's up? I've been meaning to chat with you. Comment down below what's been going on in your life. Like, I want to hear, I want to get an update. And I can't wait to share with you what's been going on in mine. I haven't made one of these, like, FaceTime talk with me videos in so long. And I feel like it's about time for an update because so much has happened. It's kind of crazy. Do you ever feel like time goes by and it either feels like everything goes by really quickly or it feels like it's been, like, a year in the span of a month? This month has felt like a whole year to me. So let's catch up. But before I do comment down what's been going on in your life honestly if you need any advice or just someone to chat to i'd love to like connect with you and any kind of advice that i can i feel like i can be a helpful or listening ear also this is so stupid i was moving my mirror so it wouldn't be in the background and i i don't know if i should show it but i like cut my big toe so that's really nice um <laughs> also if you hear my throat it sounds kind of funny i don't know why i had food poisoning so maybe like vomiting kind of caused that but i don't know it kind of i sound hoarse <laughs> Anyways, let me just like give everything in like a I guess like a timeline So long story short, I went to France You can watch that vlog wherever the link is gonna go and I had such an incredible time I went with a group of friends. I am realizing at this point in my life Sometimes my friends are showing me better princess treatment or how I deserve to be treated more than guys do Like I arrived and they had flowers for me They had paid for my flights because they knew I wasn't in a place to like buy my own And it just makes me think like if you have friends that are gonna be willing to do these things for you why should you settle for a guy or a girl if you're a guy who does less so that was a really cool insightful moment for me also you're gonna see me do a lot of like hand waving in this video i just i guess it's how i talk when i film myself but in person i'm actually like more still so don't know why i do that but i went to france i got a puppy so i had to come back early to take care of him and i will just say having a puppy has been a lot more exhausting than i thought it would be i know everyone was like oh it's a lot of work and there's moments where I'm like, this is not that bad. I do these things anyways. I go work. There's a part of me that's like, this isn't that bad. I do these things anyways. I go for walks. I go to the beach. He comes with me everywhere, even to like get a glass of wine, which I'm probably going to do later. And there's days where it's like, this isn't that bad. But then there's moments where I'm like, oh my God, I cannot do anything without thinking of you first. And it kind of gave me this like existential crisis of like, where am I going to be in 10 years? Like, what kind of job am I going to have? Who am I going to be? Where am I going to live? I don't know. Even like, what kind of partner am I going to have? Am I going to have a kid in 10 years? Like just a lot of like, you know, your mid twenties are I guess about like figuring all of that out. And it's kind of terrifying to have it all just crash in on you. And I think one thing I'm really grateful for Enzo, my puppy, one thing I'm grateful for him is it's kind of made me have a lot of deeper questions for myself and has really put me back into a sense of routine. It's basically like challenging me in a very healthy way, if that makes sense. But the reason I bring up puppy is because the next thing that has happened in my life so far is I have to like move out. Basically where I live, we have two cats and a third dog is just too much. So I had to start looking for places to live and I was like, oh my God, am I gonna stay in Santa Barbara? Am I gonna move to LA? I could go to Florida like Miami or I could go to Austin Texas is like big right now for like our age demographic or I could move abroad like maybe I could go live in South Africa I was just faced with so many different options that it's almost this idea of like when you're spoiled for choice the decision is harder and again the reason I say spoiled is because like I will admit I feel very fortunate and grateful that like I have the flexibility the passport the ability to move and live wherever I want to so it's a privilege, but with that privilege, and I'm not like complaining, comes the like, oh my God, I can't make my mind up because there's so many different like, like avenues and like ways I could go about this. And actually I will just quickly relate that to dating. I know I've been talking about like dating a lot on my platforms, but that's partly because it's like relevant thing going on in my life right now. Like I haven't been single since I was 19 and going on first dates, all of that, yada, yada. It's like kind of new and exciting. But it relates to dating in the sense that through dating apps and all these different like mediums of finding a person, whether that's Instagram or Facebook, we are honestly spoiled for choice where we think there's always gonna be a better option out there. And it's harder for us to just like truly appreciate the person we have or what we have and wanna like work through it. At least that's what I've heard from a lot of my friends as well is they've experienced this like, oh, this is too much for me. This is too hard to try to work through. And like, I can do better. 
so I'm not saying like when I made that comment before of like, oh my God, like find someone who will treat you better than your friends. I'm not saying like disregard the people in your life who already treat you well. I think what I'm saying is like, it's kind of annoying how there's so many options out there that like, it's hard to build that genuine connection with someone. So basically the update is that I am staying in Santa Barbara. I kind of made like a really good group of friends. I made a lot of guy friends that truly make me feel like a person and not like they just want to hook up with me or anything. I feel appreciated and valued. And I've also met like a few girlfriends and made like different friend groups that I can do a lot of different things with. Ugh. <laughs> do a lot of different things with, like go hiking, go surfing. I just feel appreciative. And I was like, I've built a good community here. So maybe I should just like settle down and continue building my roots. Of course, there was this thought in my brain, and I'm sure like maybe you've experienced this too of like, oh, well, maybe I'll meet friends somewhere else or like maybe I'll meet a partner or like a person in another state. But I kind of realized like I shouldn't be moving to seek something out or to find someone. So I just signed a lease on an apartment today. I'm actually so excited. It's a studio apartment. It's a little more pricey than what I pay for now. And of course it's like smaller than the house I live in now, but positives, my own space. I get to decorate it the way I want. Not that like this house I live in is actually gorgeous. Like my housemate did such a good job decorating, but I'm excited to like have my own routine, have my own furniture, get to be able to like have my own space and like come home late, you know, without waking anyone up or disturbing anyone. The other really good thing is it's closer to downtown for me, which means I can walk. It has like a beautiful upstairs, like rooftop. It's so stunning. Maybe I can like show a video here, but I'm so excited. And honestly, this decision, I was so like back and forth for so long. I just fully booked in today. I think it's a good decision. That's why I said, oh, I'm probably going to get a glass of wine later to like celebrate because why not? <laughs> and the other really funny thing is actually a guy I had like a situationship with. Well, like, yeah, we like dated for a bit, but then we became like best friends, which is kind of funny. And he's actually in this video that you can watch. He offered to help me move in, which is so nice. And good reminder, if my situationship or like we're actually good friends now, so I guess it's different because anyways, if your friends are offering to help you move in shuttle boxes, why are you going to date a bum of a guy who won't even get you coffee? No, we're over that. I'm over that at least. Also, it's so funny. At my feet is one of my stuffed toys who smells like dog because Enzo has been like chewing him to death. <laughs> the other exciting thing is now that I have this studio space and I'm going to try to make more money in order to pay for it as well, I'm going to start doing nutrition counseling. I've been wanting to do this for so long. If you haven't known, I am a certified holistic nutritionist and I used to post a lot of recipes on my channel and in my Instagram. So I'm going to go back to that. You're probably going to see a bit of like a rebrand with like my social media which is really exciting and if you want to work with me you can comment down below i would love to grab your email but we can dm about it separately and i will be providing services relating to intuitive eating food freedom i'm debating whether or not i want to touch on weight loss because i know i've talked about like toning up on my channel but to me this is a sensitive topic and if you've not like anymore i very much healed with my food freedom journey but it can be sensitive for other people and if you've ever experienced disordered eating i actually like think against it although then again you could be like me where you were maybe just like uneducated about food and i actually think doing my like tone up journey where i like wanted to gain muscle and become an intuitive eater actually really helped me with my food freedom so if any of those topics interest you or if you just want to chat about it and we can see if we're a good fit comment down below and i will dm you privately but yeah, I'm like, this is so exciting. I feel like big changes in my life. Funny enough, it's so weird filming a video like this because I don't really like to talk about myself that much or like, I don't know. I always love to hear what other people have going on. But then again, I do have that one best friend. Hey, Natalie that we went to Greece with. And she's like the best friend that I text like every 10 minutes whenever there's like an update in my day. So we all have one of those, right? <laughs> but she's special. She's not just another one. She's, she's my husband in my heart. <laughs> but I will say like in going through this whole process of like figuring out where to move and, you know, struggling with that, 
I did feel really scattered and honestly lost. I felt like I was turning to going out more and using like socializing and drinking as a way to cope with my stress, which is not healthy at all. And it's really not who I am as a person. So that was kind of like an interesting time and like a parallel for me because, you know, one of the like reasons me and my ex-boyfriend had broken up is I liked to like have a drink here and there. And I think he didn't and I think he didn't like want to be around someone who wants to like go out occasionally and party and drink which is completely fair I mean I don't necessarily want to date like a partier kind of guy anyways but honestly this time as well kind of reminded me of that relationship and of course when you're feeling lost you miss like the comfort and love that someone can provide you so I was definitely getting those feelings again and I almost feel like I turn to men and dating as a way to seek comfort and I don't want to say I was using them for that but I do feel like there's a part of me that's like it's not okay to ignore something I need to grow on and my feelings by just seeking the physical comfort of someone else. And I'm not necessarily talking about like, you know, I'm talking about like cuddling and like when you're hungover, you just want to like have someone hold you. And I think the other big update in my life is like, I am going to try. I say try because I've also struggled with like making myself promises and then hating myself whenever I don't follow through. But I'm going to try to stop dating intentionally, at least like with the sense of I deleted Hinge, I paused my profile. I'm not gonna be seeking it out. I'm just gonna let things happen organically and really go back to focusing on myself and my routine and my puppy. I think, honestly, I have experienced this before. Like, whenever you're not looking for something is when it comes your way. And I'm not saying you can't like manifest it. I genuinely feel like I've manifested a majority of my life. But what I mean is like, you're not forcing anything. You kind of hope for things or like, you know, you can do things that bring things to reality. Like I think manifesting with intent is how I approach it. Like, you know, I wanna be a successful self-employed businesswoman. So I'm gonna start doing nutrition counseling and I'm gonna build a routine that embodies that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna force anything in my life that's not meant for me. And that was like something I really turned to when trying to figure out where to live. I know it might sound like woo woo wee and like spiritual or you could even relate to it as like Christianity or, you know, I consider myself agnostic. I'm very like open and accepting of all. I think in reality, it's like all the same. I've been turning to looking for signs like angel numbers and just patterns or reoccurring things said to me. And I think it's really helped me. I think honestly, we turn to outside sources to help us make a decision because I don't know, it's hard sometimes to think of things for yourself. Like I remember saying so many times this whole time where I was like, can someone just tell me what to do? Like, I don't want to be an adult. I just want to be a kid again. Cause I feel like when you're from a kid until you're like 18 or even 22, you're told, sorry, I might be loud out there. You're told like, okay, you're gonna go to school and then you're gonna go to high school and then you're gonna go to university. But after that, pretty much the world is your oyster and it's hard to figure out, okay, well like what else do I do with my life, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like this update video kind of has gotten really long, so I'll cut it here, but I still would love to know what's been going on in your life. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, cause this helps support me as a creator. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.